We have two phase two clinical trials that we're showing this year. Omar Nadim, my colleague, is presenting them. One of them is the Dertumumab in high-risk MGUS, low-risk smoldering myeloma, and the other one is the Ixazumab, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone in high-risk smoldering myeloma. And interestingly, we asked the question, can I treat with Dertumumab early people who are low-risk smoldering myeloma? Because it's a simple, easy antibody to give. And the question is, we see so many patients with monoclonal gamopsy, but they have something else. They have neuropathy they have renal significance, they have something else that's ongoing, and we wanted to understand better. We know that in high risk, yes, you can use DERA, and potentially you need more than just DERA to Momab to overcome the disease in high risk, but in a lower risk smoldering, which was most of the patients that we enrolled in this trial, can you at least have a good response and potentially sustained response? And by doing that study, you show that it is safe and effective and can be used in the larger number of people who may have neuropathy, who may have other things, monoclonal gamopathies of some significance, and that's important to ask that question. And indeed, we found that we have similar responses that you see in high-risk smoldering myeloma, which was very important. We're re-looking at the data now for the deeper analysis, so this will be ongoing analysis of the data. But we're excited to tell everyone who has a low-risk smoldering myeloma that we're starting to look at new methods and new modalities to prevent them from going into the high-risk smoldering myeloma category.